Tisha, it was claimed this morning that your coalition has been destabilised by uh, the junior minister's resignation. Has uh, your government been weakened? No. Uh, the position, as I said last night, I, I regret and am disappointed that uh, that um, Oshin Shortall uh, sent me a letter of resignation from her position within the Department of Health. Clearly, uh, this is not the first occasion in any government where uh, where ministers and ministers of state have, have, uh, have made a choice like this. But the, the challenge for government is set out in our programme for government, and that is to, to uh, sort out the difficulties with our public finances, uh, play our part in the protection of the Eurozone and the Euro, uh, and make structural changes in the way we do business at home to restore um, uh, confidence in, in our own economy here, to change the way, uh, change the way in terms of effectiveness of work. And clearly the Department of Health is one of the most challenging uh, and the situation and the circumstances facing the cabinet, government and the Minister of Health is one that is exceptionally challenging. To say, I, I uh, thank Roisin Chartor for the work that she did in her area of responsibility, but particularly in regard to the work that she did in preparing the report on alcohol, the abuse of alcohol and the consequences of the abuse of alcohol, which is actually to come before the Cabinet Subcommittee on Social Policy, uh, I think it's next month. Were you disappointed now that this is your second Labour Minister to lose? Well, as I say, uh, Joe, it's always a, a difficult choice for anybody to make a decision to, uh, to resign from either Minister, Minister of State or from Government. Uh, and as I said, these are always difficult choices for politicians to make. The overriding imperative here for Government <coughs> in the implementation of its programme uh, is to set about with conviction the implementation of that programme in the interests of the country uh, and the people. And as I say, it's, it's, um, it's always um, a good choice uh, for people to make when, it, uh, when issues are that arise. Mr. Kenny, do you agree with Leo Varadkar that uh, uh, the Minister's choice of two extra care, primary care sites in his own constituency could look like stroke politics? I've asked this with the God already. The, the, uh, this is all part of a stimulus uh, package which was approved by Catherine and announced by the Minister of the Reform. And that stimulus package, as you know, covered. Uh, covered transport, uh, covered education, covered health, covered uh, areas in the Department of Justice and the, the major development of the Grange Gorman campus. Uh, in regard to the health element of that, uh, clearly the situation is that, that you need you, you needed to broaden the criteria here and not be subject to um, control of vested interests. Uh, so while there are 35, 35 locations for primary care centres in Maine, Obviously, the intention is to have 20 of those approved as part of the stimulus package.